Hey folks, hope you're doing well today. It has been a while since I did a pickup video, so I thought I'd just show you some things i would gotten in the past probably couple of weeks. I'm going to jump right into it here. I'm going to start off with the big thing on the left here from an auction house. It took about a month to get here because there was some back and forth. The auction house didn't realize that I had paid the invoice, but I picked up a Nolan Ryan Stat baseball. Good looking ball. I had one of these a few years ago, it was PSA DNA authenticated. It had a lot of stats all around it. Um, and I sold it and I, I've always regretted selling that. So I found this one didn't have as many stats, but I, I liked it. Picked it up, it came with two other balls. It came with a an inscribed ball from Nolan Ryan to somebody. My wife wanted that one, so she got that. And it also had a 1983 World Series baseball. So I... Uh, I'll probably just sell the, the World Series ball. I don't have any need for that. Comes in this great Phillies stand. But that was a good pickup. Uh, the, the overall price, the total price, it was like $110 for the lot of three baseballs and $35 to ship. Shipping was crazy. Uh, but a very good price on those. I feel very comfortable about that, that signature being authentic. So... It's a good purchase on my part, I think. From Blowout Forums, I picked up these three football cards. I, I think I paid 60 or 70 for the Julio and 20 apiece for these two Brady's. Now, the Brady Refractors, one of them is for sure a 9. I think it's this one. One of them is borderline 9-10. I think it's probably a 9 also. Uh, but this Julio Jones, X-Fractor rookie, is clean. And I was really surprised when I was looking at it. At just how clean it is uh, very clean card so look those up in a PSA 10 I'm, I'm very excited to see what that will come back as cut this from Canada purchased it about a month ago um, Joel and be a rookie prism he was doing a little better he's injured right now but um, I don't remember what I paid for that it's pretty good it's a it's a nice card it's a nine I mean it's got a little edge wear on the bottom but it's a nice card sharp from check out my cards uh what i did was placed several cards if you saw my, our last video my wife and i opened uh some 2021 tops retail she collects miles straw from the astros um i had ordered i had purchased a couple of miles straw cards and put them in my COMC account and just left them there. And by the time I got them, she had already ordered them from eBay over the course. I think I probably put them in my account in like January. Uh, but I did get a Miles Straw short print rookie, the uh, Sapphire rookie. And I did get this. This was a Fernando Tatis 2016 Bowman Chrome, first Bowman Chrome. I purchased this, the cheapest one at the time on Check Out My Cards was I think about 110 115 dollars uh the they went up to probably 185 at that time this one i think i picked up for around 150 uh it's but because i got it because it was the best looking of all the cards i saw on there you know sometimes you pay for what you or you get what you pay for and the the lower priced ones just didn't look that good to me so I got this one, super clean card, very clean. Uh, fairly certain this will come back at 10. So very excited about that. I'm gonna send that off. I got this from, I'm not sure if I got this from eBay or Blowout. Uh, Mike Soroka, it's a 2018 Topps Chrome Update Refractor out of 250. I do think I paid like $15 or less than $15 for it. So I think it's a good price. I think it's a really good price. It's a pretty clean, pretty clean card. I haven't looked it over yet with Luke, but picked this one up for my wife. Didn't realize she'd already had it, or she already had it. She doesn't like to collect multiples of of the same card, whereas I'm like, give me 50, you know, the same. I picked up this. This is a lot of 2021 Top Series 1 rookies. There are probably like four or five of each rookie in there. Um, you know, I don't care about having duplicates. She doesn't like it that much. But so I kept that one. This one came, this came from Blowout. This was, it took about a month to get here from Canada, uh, but it's a really nice Jordan Love 
immaculate out of 25. Not crazy about his signature, his little 16 year old high school girl signature there, but uh, it's a good looking card. It's got, it's for an immaculate card, for a Panini, Panini immaculate, you know, they're, they're thicker cards. You see a lot of edge or corner wear on these sometimes, but this is a pretty sharp card. This will probably go off to BGS at some point. Also from that guy, I got this Peyton Manning 2012 Prism. I think I paid 25 for it. Again, really clean card. Got this from eBay. Uh, I think it was like ten dollars. I think I think in a year or two, these in the PSA ten they will probably be running a hundred plus dollars. So uh, I think I'm going to try to pick up some of these Redux Refractor Mike Trout's as I can. This was part of a trade. I traded a PSA nine uh, Juan Soto rookie tops US three hundred update rookie and $25, I think, for a Bowman Chrome Purple of Alec Baum and this Randy Rosarena Silver Pack Auto out of 199. And I had traded to get the Juan Soto and I'd, I'd worked my way up the value, <laughs> the value uh, ladder a little bit there. So I didn't have, you know, overall really didn't have that much into the trade. I picked up from an auction house a couple of sets 1984 tops and 1984 Fleer, and I haven't pulled out all the cards yet, all the good cards. But I, I pulled out the matting leaves from each set. The top set, it's probably like a set six or seven. Not a super great condition card, but it's Don Mattingly. You know, it's a it's a fun card to have, fun card to look at. But out of the 84 Fleer, that Mattingly was super sharp. A little off-centered left to right, but I think this has a good chance at a nine, and I'll be very excited if it comes back as a nine. And I will be keeping that in the PC if it is a nine. So, From a, someone on Blowout, I got a giant lot, and I'm losing it, of 29 Bowman, 2019 Bowman Chrome and Sapphire. And... Just a, a bunch of good prospect, first prospect cards. Shoemake from Sapphire, Corbin Carroll Refractor, Corbin Carroll Refractor, Refractor, Lede Sapphire, Batty Sapphire, Young Refractor, Lede uh, Refractor, Vaughn Base, Rushman, these are all Base, Vaughn Base, Rushman there, Carroll Base, Young Base, Lede base and Vaughn. And I think I, I think I got that lot for like 170. Uh, so good lot, a good lot. Felt good about it. This was probably my in terms of just lucked out find. This was probably my best pickup. So there was an auction house and it was through hybid.com and the auction house had had some baseball cards from the 60s to the 70s and it also had a 56 tops and a 57 tops mickey mantle now i could tell from the photos that the 56 and 57 mantles were probably not authentic uh, the print didn't look right the the paper stock didn't look right and you can't really know without holding the card but it just didn't seem right to me the six the 66 mantle that they had was the only other mantle and so my initial thinking was that this was probably not real also but I looked at the pictures as best that I could I zoomed in a lot and there's a little corner wear up here on the right and it allowed me to see what the paper stock looked like and I thought this, I think this one's this one's a real card I think the paper stock looks right to me it's a diamond cut now diamond cut means that instead of having let me use let me use this real rookie up here instead of having perfectly parallel and even corner or even edges the 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 edges the opposing edges are parallel but they're shifted a little bit so instead of like that you you have it like that and you can tell so if you line up the you have that little extra on that corner and if you line up with that corner or that edge you have a little extra 
showed on the back. Yeah, a little extra at the top up here. Can't really see that well. So the edges are still parallel, but they're shifted a little bit. Boom. Boom. So it's a diamond cut. It's a miscut. It would have an MC qualifier on it, but I think it's a really clean card. It's probably a seven or an eight miscut. Good looking card though. I like that. Uh, and I paid $110 for that. So plus shipping. So 120 or 125, something like that. A really good pickup, I think. Um, PSA should grade it. Got Willie Castro. When I was looking through a box the other day, I found a, I might have it up here. I found a, uh, I opened one 2020 top Sapphire box. And my big pull out of it was a Willie Castro. At the time, this was like a $10 card. Now it's, I see them for $100. Uh, that was probably my best pull out of that box. Found this one, I thought, you know, he's having a good a good spring training. I'll go ahead and pick up maybe one other mid-end card of his. Uh, found this flashback, Top's Finest. It's a black refractor out of 25. Guy was asking, I think, 200 on it or one. I don't remember what he was asking. I offered 100. He accepted. So I thought that was a good pickup on my part. Picked up another, another one of these Allen & Ginter crypto cards. I don't know. It was, it was cheap. It was on the forums. A guy, I think it was like $25 or something. I thought, eh, you know what? For that, I'll, I'll go ahead and pick that up. Uh, this was a PC card. I got this through an auction house. Awesome, awesome card. So on-card autographs are great. On-card autographs from the 90s are better. This was a 1999 SP Authentic Hyography Gold Greg Maddox numbered out of 31. Now, the last one that I found of these that sold was a BGS 9.5 that sold, I think, a couple of years ago for $665 at auction. Uh, this one, again, 8.5. You see it there. Not perfect. Good-looking card still. <laughs> Got this for... 105 plus whatever buyer's premium was. So I felt like it was a really good purchase. This is a PC card. Uh, love Greg Maddox. He was, he's the kind of pitcher, he has an amazing memory about specific pitches, I mean, specific batters. And he could tell you, oh, if you told him about a game, I've seen these interviews with him, he's amazing. You, they talk about a batter and, he's, and he could tell you the pitches that he threw the guy. Just an amazing memory. Um, um, one of the best pitchers I've ever seen. So, love this pickup. My last one's here. So you saw, a, I think it was my last video, my last pickup video. I purchased this BGS 10 Tatis. Uh, got that for a little over market because one hadn't sold at the time. So we were having to uh, estimate based off of past sales and how well Tatis was doing at the time. He's doing even better now, but decided to, the guy who, the guy who had that one had told me that he had sent in a hundred or 105 Tatis uh, rookies to BGS over the, over two uh, submissions with the instruction to only encase them if they were pristine tens. He ended up getting about 30 back, including one black label. Um, I think he has two black labels. I don't know if he submitted the other one himself or if he purchased it that way, but I think he has two black labels and he had about 30 pristine 10, just regular pristine tens. Uh, so he gave me an awesome deal on three more. So I decided to get three more of these pristine tens to go with the other one. So now I'm sitting on four of these. But yeah, so I feel like there are 82 in the pop report right now. And I don't think that number is going to go up too much because of the BGS price increases. He had submitted these cards all before they increased their prices. Um, and he doesn't think he'll submit any more just because they're too much. It costs too much now. But I don't think you're going to see the pop report go up too much because of those price increases. Right now, it's at 82. This guy has about 30 of them. Uh, a little fewer, you know, a few less because I have four of his now. But um, yeah, I think I think in the long run, if Tatis turns out to be 
you know, what everybody wants him to be or hopes he will be. He's part of that triumvirate right now of Tatis, Soto, and Acuna. Um, and I think MLB is really going to push to make those guys the face of MLB for the next five years. Um, so I think that could be a good hold. I might, I'll probably maybe sell a couple of these if the prices, if the values rise a little bit over the course of the next six months or so, I might sell a couple of these to pay for the other two. So I have two free Tatis BGS Pristine rookies, but it's a good purchase, I think. Sort of a long-term play. But let me know what you think about this uh, this mail day. It's a pickup video. It's not all mail, I guess. Actually, it is all mail. And that's all I have for you. Until next time, hope you have a great day. Bye.